kind of own solutions are relevant because uh, the, the number of drones around us, there's a huge number and that wasn't the case uh, only a few years back. Safety measures around uh, infrastructures have typically just been two-dimensional. There's been a fence, uh, whereas with, uh, with the appearance of drones, they can now uh, approach from, from above, which is uh, kind of an open door. The kind of threats we are, we are talking is in principle anyone. The vast majority of incidents uh, are people that doesn't know better. They're just uh, they're in the wrong place at the wrong time. They don't know better. And they are relatively easy to, uh, to identify and detect uh, because they use equipment that, uh, that, is, that, that allows for, for such. Whereas uh, uh, activities with hostile intentions, uh, they are trying to do everything they can to hide uh, and that requires a little bit more comprehensive solution. Well, the kinds of drones to be aware of are in principle any drone. Uh, the larger ones um, can be considered like an aircraft without a pilot. Th those are the easy ones. I mean, we have designed uh, radars or sensor systems that can detect the uh, objects of uh, well, airplanes for, for years. So that's, this is the easy part. The difficult ones are the small ones, the, like toy drones, which are size-wise like a bird. They fly low and they fly slow. And the technology is normally uh, used uh, in radar, te radar technology to detect uh, small things. They either fly high or they fly fast. And that is not a, a luxury we have here. Uh, they are uh, flying in an area, a velocity area, uh, similar to the environment, uh, to the rain, to uh, waves at the sea, at sea. And they fly low and they can merge in with the, with the background from, from yeah, reflections from, from a building or whatever. Uh, so that presents a challenge that uh, the normally mechanisms we have to filter is not valid for, for that kind of, of threats. The real challenge comes down to uh, disregarding the, uh, the nuisance information. First of all, we need to have a sensor uh, technology, which is a radar, which can provide a, a full image of what is moving out there. So the radar is uh, by itself the single most contributing sensor achieving awareness. And if we have that sensor, that radar sensor that can be provide that image, then uh, it will see a lot more than is, is of interest. And typically birds. Birds can easily be confused uh, by drones. So we need a mechanism to filter away everything that is not a, a, a true drone. So this is the, uh, one of the, the real challenges of, of uh, drone, uh, counter UAS, uh, counter drone uh, systems to filter uh, all the nuisance informations away. False negatives and false positives are important for the system to be operationally acceptable. If we have too many false negatives, that means that uh, true drones slip through. So we miss something that is not acceptable. False positives, that means that uh, there are too many other objects that are presented to the operator as a drone, which are something different and that will overload him. Uh, so therefore, uh, these two parameters are essential for a system to be operationally acceptable. We have to, consider, to, to look at the physical environment. That means if it's an urban environment, if it's a rural environment, if it's a maritime environment. So th that means how is the background and also what is the ele electromagnetic environment. Electromagnetic disturbances are all the ones we can't see. Uh, we are all surrounded by Wi-Fi's and they present a challenge because the, the frequency of the Wi-Fi is the same as the frequency for the uh, video link and control link for many of the drones. So if there are too many of those, we can't detect, the, at least we cannot detect that link. Other uh, uh, sources of disturbances can potentially create issues uh, of false targets for some radar technologies. So it's important that we understand where we operate in order to propose the right solution. Well, the counter drone solution work by initially the radar detect everything and provides a, a full image of what is actually uh, out there. Anything that moves, anything which is believed to be a physical object that potentially could be of interest. A solution should fundamentally consist of detect, track and classify and then ultimately um, identify. And then you can say that the, uh, say the, uh, the drone is provided on a silver plate, and then it's uh, the next thing in the in the functional chain is then what to do about it. And that's something we uh, we have to have a dialogue with the with the customer on, because the output is different. 
whether it's the police, whether it's air traffic control, whether it's um, yeah, a concert in a, a stadium, it, 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 that's different. Ultimately, we are, we are striving to provide the maximum response time because the, the operator will need to have time to react on this. That means, well, basically that the further away we can detect uh, uh, an object, uh, the more time the operator will have to, to react on this. So um, despite drones are flying relatively slow, if it's only a few hundred meters away, uh, the only thing that uh, you would be able to, if you got the, uh, say the um, information at, at, at that range, was to take, take cover basically, just hide. Whereas if, you, if you're talking kilometers, then uh, you would have time to, uh, to uh, well, establish something, uh, mitigating action or whatever. So it's, it's all about to achieve the maximum response time. You should choose term as a counter drone solution because we have in-house the capability of all the, the uh, essential components. That means the radar sensor, the data fusion, and the, uh, the display technology. Our radar sensors, they have been, uh, they are fielded for uh, challenging applications, uh, small target detection, and this is really what we need here. We have really spent years, decades, developing the capability of small target detection. And this is really the key uh, of, of this capability uh, required for drone detection. Many of the, the radars which already feel that they can actually be upgraded with this uh, added capability of drone detection. So we can maintain, or we, we can expand what they already do to also include drone detection for many of the sites which are uh, operating today. <music>